In case you're not aware, most new freelancers quit freelancing within a couple of months. It's not because freelancing doesn't work, it's because they have a big misconception about freelancing and how it works and they have the wrong expectations, all right? So what's ha what happens is that most new freelancers start trying to find jobs and they figure out that it's harder than they thought to find new clients. But one of the principles in business that you need to understand is that Getting a new client costs about 10 times as much than, getting, than uh, selling new products to an existing client, all right? And most new freelancers, they start getting their first clients and they realize how difficult it is to get the first couple of clients. And what happens is that they're like, oh, well, I don't want to do this for like four or five years. I don't want to do this for the rest of my career. I don't want to have to find new clients and do all this bullshit, send a couple, send, send a huge amount of proposals, uh, message a lot of people, get rejected a lot. It does suck. All right. But what you need to understand is that freelancing is not just selling once to the same client and just finding new clients every time. Freelancing, the reason it's great is because you have your regular clients that come back. The thing that you do at the beginning where you get your first couple of clients and you have to get all your clients, you have no previous client, it, it does suck, but that's not how freelancing works on the long term. On the long term, what happens is that you get more and more previous clients that you can sell other things to or that come back to you by themselves, which make it so that you don't have to look at for as many new clients anymore, right? And and there comes a point where you have so many previous clients that you get enough previous clients just coming to you asking you to do more work for them again so that you don't even have to find jobs anymore it's just the beginning and because freelancers believe that uh, they, you know they notice that uh, getting started sucks finding clients new clients sucks it's hard it's annoying it's not a fun process but they think that this process is going to go on for their of their career but what you need to understand is as long as you provide a good job and you're good at maintaining relationships which is not that hard you should get within a couple of months and years returning clients and a good amount of returning clients so that within four to five years you won't probably have to send proposals anymore or very rarely and as time goes on it's going to be easier and easier it's just the first couple of months that are like this it's not like this all the time Another thing that you need to understand is that for clients, it's very hard to find good freelancers that are trustworthy. If you're a trustworthy freelancer and they want to come back to work with you, it's really easy to increase your hourly rate and they don't, they're still going to say yes because for them, it's easier to pay you that higher hourly rate than to go try to find someone else who might do a bad job. For the, e the, the thing like most new freelancers, find it annoying to freelance because they realize that they don't make that much more money than when they're working at a normal job. And sometimes they feel like they make less money freelancing than at a normal job. And at that point, they feel that it's not really worth it. But the thing is, when you're dealing with previous clients, you can charge more money and they're going to be happy to pay you more money because they're certain that you're going to do a good job while other freelancers they could hire other agencies might do a bad job they don't know them they don't have a relationship with them uh, they know they they know they like working with you so oftentimes they're willing to pay you more for your services and the thing is like yes it's hard to get high paying clients from the beginning but it's easy to find high to, it's easy to convince previous clients to keep working with you for more money than the previous jobs that you've done for them yes to some extent you have to start with a decent hourly rate like you can't start with five dollars an hour and then come back and be like okay i want a hundred dollars an hour now which you know hundred dollars an hour i've charged it in the past it's very like realistic amount uh, but, you know, if you're charging your first client like $5 an hour, the reason that client works with you is because you're the cheapest guy around, right? He's not working with you because he's looking for high quality, the best product he, possible, the best service possible. He's just looking for good service for cheaper than anyone else is going to offer it. And the moment you start uh, raising your price, of course, he's not going to want to work with you because you lost your competitive advantage. You lost the reason he chose you, which was that you were the 
the cheapest person around. So you don't want to be the cheapest person around. You want to start with a decent hourly rate because at that point, the clients already work with you because they want quality services. And at that point, it's a lot easier for you to just increase your hourly rate. Like start with something like uh, 30 or at least $30 an hour. This way, you're already dealing with clients who want to work with quality freelancers and are willing to spend a good amount of money for services. And one of the things that you might be thinking is like, how can I get clients for $30 an hour? Well, the thing is with uh, Upwork, Upwork has discovered and shared with us recently that actually clients often spend more money on projects than what the average freelancer bids. Like what the bid is like what they offer for the job. Uh, what you can infer from that is that the the uh, freelancers who charge above average get more jobs than the freelancers who charge lower than average. Like Upwork is not a race to the bottom in the sense that, you know, it's not a question of charging lower to get more jobs. You can get more jobs by, ch by being the lowest charging person around because there's always going to be cheap freelancer. Uh, cheap clients, but the majority of clients are actually looking for quality freelancers and are afraid that the freelancers are going to do a bad job, especially when they're dealing with big projects like websites, which might have security issues. And they really want to make sure that the freelancer is not going to put them in a situation where there may be a, a, um, security breach or other type of problem like or there are big businesses trying to sell people with a website and like if the freelancer does a bad website and might sell like uh thousands of dollars less in in, in revenue like for every month like f clients often want to make sure that they get high quality services. Like it's not a question of just trying to get cheap freelancers. You need to change your strategy and start charging more money because that's one of the ways that you can get more jobs and more money at the exact same time. So yeah, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you found this helpful. If you did like hit the like button, subscribe for more videos on how to succeed on Upwork and I'll see you in my next videos. Take care.